differentiating inverse trig functions. Yes, they can ask you at normal A-level maths, they would be in this form. Whereas in further maths, most likely they would root both sides, say root x and then say arctan. So further maths, they might say y equals arctan root x, differentiate that. But in normal maths, they might have it rearranged for x. Either way, the process is basically the same. It's just in further maths, they would be expected to know that arctan differentiates to 1 over 1 plus x squared. We don't um, necessarily at normal A-level maths. So given this, how do we show that the gradient function is 1 over 2 root x, x plus 1 for 5 cheeky marks? Well, because it's rearranged for x, we might as well differentiate x with respect to y. But in order to do that, we recognize that this is a squared. We need to rewrite it, as I've shown you in many previous examples, as an explicit power function. So we differentiate what's inside first, what you would have let equal u. Tan y differentiates 2 sec squared y. Then we bring down the power, knock one off the power. So bring down the 2 and then knock one off the power will be tan y. Then we reciprocate. So we get dy by dx is 1 over 2 sec squared y tan y. Now I know tan y. If tan squared y is x, then tan y is root x. They gave some range, I think, in the question. But yeah, we take the positive version of this, okay? So we have 2 root x, then sec squared. We can think that 1 plus tan squared is sec squared. And we just replace that. So we have 1 over 2 tan y, then sec squared is 1 plus tan squared. We see 1 over 2 root x, and then we get tan squared y, which is x, plus 1. Easy 5 marks. Okay, and this is actually 5 marks. Part B. Find the equation of the normal at y equals pi over 4. So we have the y value, we need the x value. So x is tan. I actually like writing it like this, because that's how you would type in the calculator. If you are going to use the calculator for this, this is just 1. Now, we need to sub in pi over 4 into the gradient. However, what mistake am I about, <laughs> what mistake am I about, what mistake am I about to make here is I'm subbing in pi over 4 for y when it's in terms of x. And there's another reason why we should have worked out x first. Yes, yeah, so we're actually subbing in 1. What do we get? We get 1 over 2 times 1, root of 1 is just uh, 1, times 1 plus 1, which is 2, so we get a quarter. But that's the gradient. So the normal will be the negative reciprocal minus 4. So that's the gradient. Now we're going to do y minus y1. The y1 is pi over 4. Is the gradient minus 4, x minus x1. Okay. Now they didn't give us a particular form. I usually say if the gradient is a fraction you multiply through, but if it's not, just expand. So we get minus 4x plus 4, and then we have y equals minus 4x plus 4, and then plus pi over 4. Yeah, minus 4x plus 4, we move that over, and we get that, yeah. I'm happy with that. So yeah guys, actually not a bad problem, again, once you understand the basics of the chain rule, which I did over the previous videos, these problems are actually really, really simple, okay? So hit that like button if you learned something today and realize how simple some of these questions can actually be once you have that foundational knowledge. Uh, subscribe for more maths content. If you want to join the Learn Gang and submit your own questions, there is a link to the Reddit down below. And feel free to check out more details about my maths courses for A-levels. More, more information is in the description. See you later, Mike.